So Google has come out with a new kind of search engine. I'm super excited to show you this. It's called Talk to Books. What it is is a, for lack of a better word, search engine that doesn't search the web, it searches books. They've indexed over, I think it's 600,000 books. And what they did was they trained via machine learning the algorithm to predict the next response in a conversation. So if I were to say, what's the weather like today? It would predict what to say back. Um, something like partly cloudy, high of 72. But we can do this with any kind of conversation. So for example, we can ask it something like, uh, here, here's something relevant to my channel. Why should I learn SEM? And it'll search through all the books, all 100 or 600,000 or however many it is, and find the sentences that it thinks will be the next best response in dialogue to this conversation. So if we were to just look at the bolded sentence here, it says SEM is of great benefit over traditional methods because it allows researchers to analyze relationships among variables. So this is what I would expect back from someone conversing with me intelligently. That's pretty cool. Let's try something totally different. How about uh, why haven't we explored the depths of our oceans on Earth? Question mark. So it says we've explored less than 5% of the deep sea. And why haven't we done it? Well, it's problematic, dangerous, and expensive, and it's been limited by technology. It's only recently that technology has become available that makes it possible. This is really cool. Let's try something totally different. How about what were the main causes of the War of 1812? Here we go. Let's see. The imperial crisis that led ultimately to the American independence began here. And let's see. Debate on the causes of the War of 1812 focused on the American desires for territorial conquest and more. Causes of the War of 1812. Pretty cool. So this is fascinating. And I don't know if it was intended for what I'm about to show you, but it's about to make literature reviews in scholarly, academic, scientific research way easier. Check this out. Let's do something very blunt, very easy. Uh, something like, what is the relationship between autonomy and job satisfaction? Let's see, a meta-analysis of the relationship between job characteristics and job satisfaction is here, including autonomy. Some have argued that satisfaction of the need for autonomy is the most important need, contributing to overall job satisfaction. Here's a citation. Here's the book it came from. Here's the sentence in the book where it came from. Here is your literature review, right here. Let's try something less uh, concrete. Let's try something like uh, burnout and something more abstract, something like uh, turnover intention. Turnover intention. Burnout is also significantly related to turnover intentions. Absenteeism. Here are all the citations for it. View in the book. Let me click on that. And it opens it up in the book, the exact passage where I can find that. Isn't that crazy? Now, these constructs here, like burnout and turnover intention, these are fairly concrete. Let's try something that's uh, less concrete. Something like task interdependence. That's a tricky one. And uh, what about something like team performance? Team performance. Let's see. Task interdependence refers to this. Uh-huh. Let's see. Task interdependence moderates the relationship between group level um, helping and group performance. So it translated group and team, use those interchangeably. Um, interdependence affects team processes. This is really cool. Team effectiveness. So there's my lit review for fairly abstract constructs. So the way you do a lit review is about to change. We used to, well, we used to go to the library and sort through physical copies of literature, which was a pain. And then we started using Google Scholar, which was way better, but still it's kind of a shot in the dark using keywords. And now all we have to do is ask our question. What is our research question? Type it here. And then Google will produce a set of books that will essentially guide a response to your research question. And you can then go pursue these sources and many more in order to very quickly form an opinion and a positioning piece to frame your research questions and frame your literature review in a fairly quick and easy way.